bag and this is what the box looks like it's quite small because I didn't end up getting a purse um, or shoes I got some makeup and some jewelry and stuff like that okay so the first thing I got is the 28 color palette smoky eyes edition by BH cosmetics so that's what all the colors look like uh, comment down below if you guys want me to do a look or a review on this palette because I definitely could I think that a lot of the colors are super pretty um, I really like I really like this color up here. I, it's kind of like a it's like a dark teal. I think that is so pretty. And then I really like this peachy color because I actually don't really have peach eyeshadows. And then the bright purple is beautiful. They have a lot of different uh, kinds of purples here. Okay, and the next thing I got, I'm kind of insane for getting, but I thought, hell, why not? I've always wanted to put artificial color in my hair. But this is a purple hair dye. So yeah, I just thought, why not? I mean, I want to do it eventually. And while my hair is kind of blonde at the end, I can just kind of put in some purple. Um, but yeah, this is by Clairol and it's called Jazzing and it's in the color Jet Grape. So this is uh, temporary, so this isn't going to last forever. But um, yeah, this retails for, I think it's like $8 or something like that. And I just thought that it was cool. I think everyone should dye their hair an artificial color in their lifetime. I've never done it, so I thought, why not pick this up? Okay, so the next thing I got is a pair of earrings, and they're by 1928. They're golden, and then they have purple stones in the middle of them. These retail for 18. I think that these are really pretty and cute for summer, and honestly, any time, because colors shouldn't be just for a season. They can be for any time that you want them to be for. Okay, and then the next thing I got here is a nail polish by NCLA, which I've never tried before, and I have to say that this packaging is very sturdy and good quality it's just like it's just a sturdy box you know and then also I want to say that the um, nail polish itself is very sturdy and good quality and well made well, I've never tried these nail polishes before but this is just a top coat because I actually do not have one so I was very excited to get this and I think that this retails for 15 or 16 dollars so it's quite an expensive nail polish but I thought why not because I just recently stopped biting my nails and I just want to paint all my nails all the colors okay so then the next thing that I got is very very exciting I actually don't think I've owned a Betsy Johnson product but these are Betsy Johnson sunglasses and they came in this really cute hot pink case so I thought that these were so cute when I saw them on the site they're very um, John Lennon-esque. They're circle sunglasses, and they have daisies on the rims. Um, I'm kind of iffy with how it looks on my face because I have, like, more of a rounder or oval face shape, so I feel like these sunglasses kind of accentuate it. And I know if you have, like, a more circular um, face shape, cat eyes are more flattering, but I still think that these are really cool. The one thing that is kind of weird about these, though, is that it actually... I don't think that it's leaving a black mark there now because I only put it on for a second, but these actually have been leaving black marks on my nose. So I don't know if it's just because they're new and they haven't been worn. Hopefully that will stop, but yeah, and I think that they look really cute on the top of my head. So yeah, I just really like these sunglasses and these retail for $60. So that is kind of insane. I would never spend that much for sunglasses. But I've always wanted circular lenses, and I just think that they're so cool because they have like daisies on them, so it's kind of something different. And the next thing I have here is a hairspray, and it's a Sebastian Shaper. I've heard so many amazing things about this, and apparently they use them on fashion runways, so I mean, they gotta be good. But um, yeah, I actually work at a drugstore, and I've just become conscious of what people are buying, and I kid you not, so many people have come in to buy this hairspray, and in Canada, it literally comes to $22. Like, tax is in $22. And the smell, I really like it. It's just kind of like, it's like hair salon hairspray, but I like that smell. I don't know. So I'm just really excited to try this, and it's a full size, and yeah. I've just heard a lot of great things about it, so I'm super excited. The next thing I got are these hair ties, and I just thought that they were super cute because... They're um, different, so if you want to wear your hair up but look a little bit more fancier, I thought that these were cute because they have like a pretty jewel on them and they're nice pastel colors, so I think that they'll look really pretty. These are by the brand Jolie, I think. I'll link every, I'll link, <laughs> I'll link everything in the description box below if you're interested on any of the brands. Okay, so the next thing I got is super cute, and it came in this like little bag thingy. 
but it's a ring by the brand Hard Couture. So, yeah, I've never heard of that before. But, yeah, it's a ring that has a feather dangling from it. That's what it looks like on, and I just think that it is so freaking cute. I absolutely love it. And, um, yeah, it's adjustable, which is great because I have the smallest hands, and I'm always very conscious of what I get on the internet, so I always make sure something is adjustable. But, yeah, it's just a dangling feather ring, and I think that it is adorable. Okay, so the next thing I got is an eyeliner by Pixie. It's the Endless Silky Eye Pen in the color Cafe Gold. So it is a sparkly brown color. And I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. Okay, so I'm just going to swatch it on my hand here. I have the plum one, which I will say that I think I like a little bit more. Because I find this... Well, this one is good because it's very subtle. I just think that I needed to get a brown mascara to go with it. Because I have a black mascara and I find that... Not that it clashes, but I feel like it would look better with the brown mascara. But I think that it's a really pretty natural color. So if you're looking for something that isn't a black, substitute it for a brown. And these are so incredibly silky. My god. And they are very pigmented. I just like the uh, plum one better because I got that one in my last little black bag. But these are really good eyeliners and they retail for 15 bucks, which is a little bit um, on the pricier end, but I think they're really nice. Okay, then the final thing that I got is a bracelet that I absolutely love, and it's by the brand Cree, and it's like a friendship bracelet, but it has studs on it, and it fits me, which is amazing. This is definitely not going to fit someone with a bigger wrist because it is tight on me, and I don't think it's like that adjustable. Like, I don't think that it's going to go that much bigger, but that's what it looks like. I just think it's kind of a cool twist on the generic friendship bracelet. But yeah, I just think it's really cool, and it's just fun to add a pop of color. Okay, so that's the end of my Little Black Bag haul for May. Um, I think that I did pretty good this month. I definitely could have upped my training a little bit more, but I do enjoy, honestly, everything that I got. I think that it's great. I got a lot of variety of things. But um, yeah, I'm just going to add the total somewhere around in this video, so... It's around $200 and I spent $34, so it's kind of insane. Like, And if you're someone who buys makeup, I highly suggest doing this because you can build up your makeup collection, but you can spend a lot less money. You guys can get so much stuff. I highly recommend it. I think I'm going to do a trading tips video because Little Black Bag is, it can be confusing and overwhelming. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, I think I'm going to do a top 10 ever thrifted item, so if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. Um, I think I'm also going to get like a video schedule going, like videos every blank day. I don't really know what day it's going to be, but I'm going to start to get that going because I want to be consistent and I want you guys to know when I'm going to be releasing videos and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye!